Hi, my friends call me Lime and this series has now been going on for a year, December 5th. 2016 the first episode of this series was released and in honor of this anniversary I decided to ask people what they remember the most so this is a top five of the most memorable moments of tips with lime number five comes from the last episode actually uh, we talked about finding the balance between overacting and underacting and we talked about that the context is something that can decide whether you are underacting or overacting if you for example are on stage then you might need to enhance your body language and your voice uh, so that your message actually reaches the viewer while you don't have to do that as much in front of the camera but distance wasn't the only factor. Now, loud noises are all so clouds information because this noise causes me to have to raise my voice and articulate a lot more for you to hear me. But not only that, I need to express my emotions more clearly so that it reaches you. Now, I don't have to articulate my body language as much and I could continue this speech if you would shut up. Now, if you don't re you have to So, if it I want you to turn up like this. Number 4 doesn't actually need a long introduction. Uh, George had a fitness challenge where he challenged all of us to work out more and this was my response to that. Can you do it? Will you accept my challenge? Are you worthy? Let's get fit together, Freedom Family! Ow! Baby, uh, what are you doing? Number three started with me doing an episode about target audiences. I gave the message that sometimes your target audience can be too small, too narrow. If you, for example, only cover Bubsy the Bobcat games on your channel, then you might want to think about expanding that. And from nowhere, uh, Jesse Frosted Frakes uh, decided to make a comment video on that on Twitter. And my response to that comment was to do a tribute to Bubsy the Bobcat, to reenact uh, an intro to the cartoon that they make. So I now want to show you a side-by-side -side comparison, uh, my reenactment to the original intro, so here that is. So then we have a video comment from Twitter. Hey Bobcat Enthusiast and Rob Paulson Impersonator, today's episode was very rude towards Bubsies everywhere. In the future, try playing the video game. What could possibly go wrong? I would like to apologize to Bubsies everywhere. It was rude and it was thoughtless of me to alienate any Bobcat or Rob Paulson impersonator that may be watching. And to ask of your forgiveness, I bid you this tribute. Thank you. Number two started with an episode about body language and I started that episode with me doing a kind of sexy pose uh, on my bed because I wanted to give the message that 
Body language is important because body language can affect how your audience feels. And I got lots of comments uh, because of that post. And here is my response to that. Anthony Smith says, anybody else get this feeling that Lime is secretly trying to seduce us with knowledge? Seduction? I never tried anything of the sort. It's just your dirty mind playing tricks on you. Now excuse me while I drink this completely innocent glass of water. So, before we move on to the most memorable moment of Tips with Lime, according to you, let's look at some honorable mentions. With that said, let's start with the intros. Let's move on. All right, here we go. I got this. Ha! Yeah, that's right. You thought you were going to get away with talking about intros without me? Not going to happen, mister. See? I'm a person who is very particular on how he likes his channels to look. My biggest pet peeve out of all of them are intros. Please heed my advice before I lose my connection to this feed. Don't use intros! Don't use intros! Whoa, 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 Frosted Freaks, you know I love you, man. But if you ever do that to my feed again, I will never ever say Frosty. I will wear this at all times, always being warm, and also, you will never ever be able to hack me because it's an antivirus device. Do you see? Because it keeps me from getting cold and getting a cold and hacking. Is, that's the joke. Hi, my friends call me Lime and I want to help you perform even better in your videos and so, let's talk about answering the unasked questions of your audience. Now, an audience can be defined as people who watch a show or encounter a piece of art, but you're probably not even listening to me right now because the only thing that you can think about at the moment is what's with the facial hair. Don't worry, it's not my new look. I just did it to make the point that sometimes your audience have questions that you need to address before they become ready to listen to you. So, number one, in the episode where we talked about overacting and underacting, I also gave the message that sometimes you need to enhance your emotion and personality for that to actually reach through the camera to the viewer. And many YouTubers do this. Many YouTubers need to turn themselves up a little. And that is including many of the YouTubers of this channel and I wanted to illustrate that point by uh, by asking the question what if the hosts of this channel acted like they do on camera in everyday life freedom today I wanted to talk to you about doing the dishes don't forget to wash the sink and do all of those things that makes me love my kitchen also be awesome to yourself and amazing to each other hi I'm Linus and who am I? I am Lime Senpai, Papa Lime, and all the other names that has been given me. I am Lime, host of a show on freedom! For freedom and the freedom family! But we, we haven't just been laughing. Uh, the main point of this series has actually be, been to grow through knowledge. So we have talked about ethos we have talked about target audiences the importance of finding your fire and knowing how to use it how to be genuine answering the unasked questions of your audience body language handling nervousness the power of expectations thinking more deeply about meaning and finding the balance between overacting and underacting so what is next for this series well You'll actually have to wait until January to find that out because I'm taking a break until then. 
uh, there are some things that I need to figure out. I need to figure out the future of this series and I need to figure out the future of my own channel. So I need to give that some time. I need to focus on that right now. So I'll see you in January. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Thank you.